Hey guys, Tom again from the State of Real, and I'm back to give you an update. I know some of my subscribers are probably wondering where the heck I've been at because I haven't really posted anything in maybe two months, and um, that's kind of been pretty nice. Taking a little sabbatical, but uh, ultimately at the end, I think you'll be happy to know what I've been doing for the last two months by myself. <clears throat> Key word there. Uh, some of you guys know that we moved to a new house maybe two years ago. Uh, right, right before the pandemic kicked off, which was the best time to move. Um, we got this beautiful house with a half acre um, that is uh, more modernized. There's literally nothing in here. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna move the camera so you don't see what I'm about to show you. But um, it was really nice because pretty much everything was done. We got it for a really, really good price. And we didn't have to deal with all of the COVID craziness. But there was a big problem with this house and this is the back of the garage. You can see how small the garage is. My new F-250 does not fit in there. I do a lot with cars. So that's a car that I'm flipping. Um, and I have the Prelude and the wife has a car. So trying to fit all of my tools and all of my YouTube stuff into that small garage was not working. I knew that buying this house, but ultimately, um, you know, I had to appease the wife a little bit. She wanted a newer house. And we went and pulled the trigger on this one knowing it had a half acre of land that I could build on. Notice the ramp that's right here that I built. Um, so I just wanna show you here what I've been uh, up to. So right here is the new 24 by 24 garage that I'm building by myself for the whole YouTube channel and for um, you know, all my car stuff or whatever I end up getting into. We also have a kid on the way. We don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. We'll find out next week, but uh, we'll have a nice place here for dad and the kid to hang out and learn some, learn some stuffs. But uh, yeah, I, I literally built this and think this entire thing by myself. Uh, I'll have videos or sorry, pictures and videos to add to this. I was a really bad YouTuber. I. <laughs> I barely took any videos of this entire building process only because, you know, winter was coming and I wanted to get it done as quickly as possible. But um, I promise, I swear that I built everything here by myself, except for the pad. I paid um, some friends to do the concrete. But uh, right now we uh, have a second floor. This is a 24 by 24 with an upstairs. Let me go up the ladder here. I'm planning on putting an elevator right in the back end here um, because I want to be able to put the wife's outdoor furniture up on the second floor. But uh, let me uh, climb up the ladder here and you can see the second floor. So this is a uh, 13 by 24 and I plan on putting windows in the front. I'm not gonna do any windows in the back. This was a culmination of uh, what is it? Superior Structures LLC, uh, or Superior Trusses rather, LLC. I bought all the trusses from them. Um, I bought a lot of the wood actually from Facebook Marketplace because there were companies that were going out of business and I didn't want to pay the big box store wood prices. So right now, as it stands, including all of the shingles that I bought for the roof, this is, I think, the Excel spreadsheet right now is sitting at $12,000 worth of material, not including my time, obviously, because I've done all the work myself. But uh, I know I got a quote because the wife wanted to see if we could just pay somebody to build this garage. And they, they wanted to charge me $54,000 to do this. So me being who I am and what I can do, uh, you know, you guys don't know me on a personal level, but I worked as a general contractor in my youth for a lot of contractors in my teens. Um, so I know all these trades, I know the codes, and I built these garages before. And, you know, to me, it's just second nature. It's just a reflex. So uh, it made more sense for me to do it for myself and to save all that money and do it a little bit at a time. I literally have been doing, you know, weekends and three hour periods after work. Um, to just get this all done. And this is where we're at now. So total height is 20, I think it's 22 feet tall. 
There are 10 foot high walls all the way up to the parts where the trusses come out there. And uh, I'll put two windows up here. These are nine foot wide doors with eight foot tall. Yeah, nine, nine, or sorry, eight foot tall, nine foot wide. Excuse me. Um, and I did a 32 inch wide door, which I haven't bought yet, only because I'm hoping one will come up on Facebook Marketplace for cheap. And bought this window for 50 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. It was brand new. That's all installed. <clears throat> So we've been making a lot of progress. It's uh, Veterans Day today, so I'm off, um, which feels really nice. And I'm hoping today I can finish up the roof because I started shingling the roof uh, yesterday, I think, or the day before, and did like three hours, two hours worth of work, and I'm halfway up the one side. So <clears throat> Saturday, I'm hoping to rent the trencher. I'll haul it over with the uh, power stroke and then I'll cut the trench for both the water and electric and I'll run that from the house down here to the the garage and I'll get that all hooked up. I can do electrical too, so I'm gonna run all the electric and water and set up the sub panel and we'll have power out here finally. And hopefully I'll be able to wrap all this up with vinyl siding before the snow comes and put the, the front awning and the, and the windows in. So. <clears throat> just wanted to give you guys an update and, and uh, just show that I'm not out relaxing, sitting on my cat couch eating Cheetos. I'm out here doing work and uh, it's been a lot of fun and, you know, it's keeping me young. I'm 30 years old, but it's keeping me young, that's for sure. Um, honestly, the biggest challenge has been <laughs> the angle of that roof. It's a 40 degree roof. So I have, uh, they're called Guardian uh, Anchors. They're up on the roof on the other side. I'll probably do a video just to show people how to shingle, you know, a 40 degree roof because the angle is super steep. It really stretches that Achilles tendon. Um, but, uh, you know, I've, I've been working with ropes and stuff for a long time. I'm cutting down like a bazillion trees as a kid. There was actually a pine tree back there that I cut down. Um, the neighbors thought that was pretty cool. And I just built a whole pile of you know brush dumped a bunch of diesel oil on it and burn it and it was like gone in like five minutes it was really cool but uh no it's been a lot of fun and this is this is like my retirement garage so i know it's only 24 by 24 but that's good for me and uh i'm gonna make this like a freaking house um i want it to be nice i'm not doing any more building after this um, at this point, I'm 30 years old and I'm where I want to be in life. And <clears throat> there really isn't much more besides little hobbies after this that I'm going to be investing a lot of money into. Um, I have my rental properties and stuff like that. And maybe I'll, I'll continue buying more. I don't know. The market's just kind of crap right now. But uh, I, I, I'm comfortable right now. All I'm really focused on is, you know, this baby that's coming in April. And... Uh, you know, paying down all of the mortgages, actually all of the mortgages. I only have two mortgages, this one and the one from um, the one rental property that I have. So, you know, at this point I'm looking at reducing my debt and, uh, you know, living comfortably. So I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, out there still killing it. Uh, if not, come watch my videos. Hopefully I can give you some motivation because, uh, you know, sometimes it's hard going out there and and you know pursuing your dreams every single day but it's it's certainly worth it i feel blessed every single day that i'm in my half acre backyard with this garage that i can build myself and save a bunch of money doing that um and uh just want to say thanks to my wife she'll probably never watch this video but thanks to my wife and my family um for supporting us you know emotionally and and things like that um you know through this whole process of becoming adults and getting married and having kids um, because uh, there aren't too many people that can do it alone and I won't say that I've done it alone. Um, I've definitely earned all of my own money myself um, and so is my wife. But, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely been um, a great journey having friends and family to do it with. So, um, you know, as we get closer to Thanksgiving, reflect and be thankful and I'll see you on the next one. Later guys.
Today was a big day. Uh, as you can see, we got <clears throat> gravel in the backyard here. All the gravel's done. Oh, it's all compacted. And Friday is when we could get concrete. Well guys, the concrete truck is in the driveway and the guys are out here. Hey guys, we're finally here. There she goes. All right, everybody, well, this is it. Turn the camera around. We done, both sides. So as you can see, we're all done. I ran right up next to the uh, current conduit um, that comes into the house for the main service. It's a 200 amp service. So I'm gonna, I brought the trench all the way from the garage here, all the way back up to the house. But this uh, Toro trencher did a great job. As you can see, some of the fill fell back in. So I'll just get the pickaxe and uh, get that out since it has a spade on the back end. This was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.